All right, so welcome to another video. Um, today, I thought we would start looking at the uh, you know fresh install of Linux Mint and what everything looks like when you got it up and running. Um, in the earlier videos, I showed the installation steps and the walkthrough that was shown on the Linux Mint website. And now here we are with our fresh install of Linux Mint. And the current version is 20.3. So you can see that right down here in the corner. So this is the welcome screen. You see this when you first start up Linux Mint. Um, and it kind of gives you some good things to do um, to, to when you first start the, you know, start fresh. Um, so it kind of gives you some, um, you know, good pointers and a direction to start off with. So right down here in the bottom right corner, you can see this little checkbox that says show this dialog at startup. So if you don't want to see this when you start the computer, then you can just uncheck that box and then it won't show up automatically. Um, and, but you can always go to the Linux Mint equivalent of the start menu right over here, the Linux Mint menu and it will uh, be in there under welcome screen you can find it there if you need to get to this section again so we'll start here uh, on the left where it says first steps and go ahead and click there um, and now this is just some convenience options uh, for uh, certain settings you can do things like that um, you can access almost all this stuff somewhere else with the exception of this panel layout i'm not certain about but um so we'll just start going over here. So desktop colors, it says make yourself at home, choose your favorite color. So um, you can just click one of these boxes here. It starts by default with this green color, but you can choose like an orange if you prefer. And then you can see it changed the highlighted color to orange. It changed the color of the home folder to orange. And so the it's like the uh, accent color is going to be, you know, orange for, for everything or say you want, you know, purple. And then it will do the same thing again, change the highlighted item color, change the folder colors down here as well. Um, I personally like this rather teal colored one, so I'm just going to go with that. Um, and here you can switch between a bright theme and a dark theme for the uh, look of the windows. And so if you click that, then you can see everything goes to dark. So if you're a big fan of dark themes everywhere, you can um, you know, have it look like that really easily, but just by clicking that little toggle there. I happen to be one of the oddballs that likes the bright themes instead, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, now this panel layout section here, I'm not sure if there is a spot to access it elsewhere. Uh, this is one setting that I've looked for it, and maybe I've just overlooked it, but I wasn't able to find it in the normal settings, so this might be the only way to access it, as far as I know. Uh, there probably is another way, and I just don't know what it is, but uh, but this welcome screen is the best way I know of to find the layout, uh, to change the layout of the panel. So, um, so the panel, uh, Windows users will be familiar with this as a taskbar. The uh, Linux calls it the panel. It's this whole section down at the bottom down here. Um, and there's two different ways you can do it. It starts with this modern uh, setup. That's what it's working on off of right now. And it says a larger panel with grouped windows and a small system tray. So um, I personally happen to prefer the more traditional one um, with the smaller panel and the traditional window list. Um, not so much that because it's smaller, but um, but just the, uh, there's a particular behavior. Like I'm, I'm not a huge fan of grouping uh, windows together under a single icon, I, I never have been. Uh, so it's just a personal preference thing, but um, anytime you want to change it, uh, you know, you can try both ways. Um, and anytime you feel like changing it, you can just come back into this welcome screen and select between these two options here. And it says, uh, note, Cinnamon will restart after you choose a new layout. Any customization you made to the panel will be lost. So, um, so if you've modified anything on the panel, um, about its layout and everything, it will be reverted when you switch styles here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit the traditional one and then you can see the difference a little bit. And now you can see here how the uh, windows at the bottom, instead of just being the icon, it actually shows, you know, what the things are that are open and it shows them more, you know, uh, 
with the you know the text labels and all that and I personally that's more my preference of style so um, and the, but that's just basics um, I'll go into customizing the panel itself um, at a later video because there's more you can do with that if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn even more you can find my books at books to read dot com slash Jonathan that's books the number two read dot com slash j o n a t h a n